Hey, I'm Ben with Barefoot Builders. I'm a contractor here in Playa Gigante, Nicaragua. And I'm just going to show you a house today that I built for a friend of mine, Nicole. Um, she had a, a pretty small budget. We weren't really sure what we wanted to do, and we kind of ran with it using a lot of the local, local materials, um, as well as a nice open air design. Um, simple, but still sealed off from the bugs. Kind of being back here in the jungle, a nice, simple Nicaraguan home with all the, all the quality that you would want um, from back home, first world. So let's get started. We went with a lot of wood since we're back here in the jungle. Nicaragua has a lot of beautiful hardwoods. So they really wanted those hardwood accents, leaving things very rustic looking, um, but kind of adding a new style to it. It works out well. All this open space is great because of the way Nicaragua is famous for its offshore winds. Um, so she wanted a big open patio. We use a lot of local materials <clears throat> doing so. All this, all this slate, um, concrete, red brick, and again, all that local hardwood. All the framing wood that we used is all, hard, is, is all that hardwood because back here there's, there's huge termite problems. So the termites don't touch this stuff, so we're pretty good. The security windows that we, the security bars on the windows that we went with, um, we kind of went with the big sun motif and made them look nice and ornamental rather than having just your classic bars, prison bars. We wanted to, to make them elegant, kind of make it flow with the house. Wood beams, these are strictly ornamental beams in each corner. Of course, these have steel and cement um, weight bearing columns. Um, so this just kind of keeps in keeps in flow with the rest of the house. One door out back, this is where all of her plumbing comes through. Out here is an on off switch for her main well. So everything back here is all on well. There's no city water. Which is why all the infrastructure for this house, we had to do ourselves. This is what they call a caja de registro, where if any, it's all sealed up in cement. Um, and if anything were, jammed up or anything were happening with the plumbing, we're able to kind of pump everything out towards the septic system. Which is here, the septic we went a lot bigger. We weren't quite sure what they wanted what they wanted to do. There was an idea of maybe putting a second story on the house, which has a lot of a lot to do with, with the way that we built the house itself. Um, We'll talk more about that later. This has this is our, our exit, our, our pump tube, just in case in the future if you ever need to pump it out, which I don't think you never really will need to because of the way we built it with leach fields like we do back home um, in Canada or in the US. Code venting. We did a T leach field here rather than having it run down into the property out into the river. We had it leach here. Just another reason the owners wanted to hide the tanks. So this is all subterranean tank entrance with their pressure pump, their main tank so you can, you can treat the water if you need to. And then over there is where your overflow valve is. Um, all these systems, all these electrical systems have um, overflow protection cutoffs and there's, there's three backup systems on it. So it's all pretty tight um, and works really well and kind of keeps, keeps the surroundings looking nice rather than having big tank towers and all kinds of electrical stuff around. This right here is the bodega, wired 220 so that we can have you know washing machines, dryers, the whole nine. Um, the bodega itself is simple. So you can see the bodega, you can see the bodega we used hardwood slats and steel on the doors, which I kind of like. It's a, it's a classic Nicaraguan look. Um, and we've already had tenants here for the past six months or so. So you can see the wear and tear and how things, how things, how things get treated down here. Okay, so the patio is done with all local materials, all of this slate stone. Um, we leveled it out, did it this very traditional Nicaraguan, and sealed it off with a, with a concrete sealer so that we don't get any of those concrete stains. Um, a couple furniture stuff right here, I built with leftover wood that we used for the, for the hardwood countertops. Anything we had left over, 
we didn't, nothing went to waste in this house. You can see we did a big, a big security open bar door. Um, we used, again, because of, because of our budget, we used, we used varnished plywood, which in the future, I think the, the owners will use just this as a security door and we can have some kind of, kind of system that, that opens it up to it. We went with outdoor, outdoor hanging lamps, which I think gives it a, a, a cool rustic look against that zinc and, ex, and exposed galvanized tubing for all the electric, which I think adds, adds a neat contrast between the, the wood and, and kind of um, metal and harsher materials. And of course, outdoor industrial fans are a must in Nicaragua um, for the seasons when, it, when it's not windy. We also have an outdoor, an outdoor door to the patio for the bathroom. So it's taking to the bathroom. All hardwood door jams for all doors. Big, heavy hardwood doors for everything. Simple bathroom, again, just lamp lighting. Dividers, um, using leftover wood that we, use, that we have for the ceiling trusses to build, to build kind of vanities and shelves and that kind of thing. Again, reusing all the materials for the house to kind of furnish it. We come inside, big thresholds are a must out here in the jungle with all the frogs and snakes and that kind of thing. It keeps them all out. Hardwood bars and tops, again, furniture, reusing materials. Um, we went with the countertops, we just did a fine polished concrete and then, and then sealed over it. Um, which, is, which is a neat look, it gives kind of a rustic cracking to it because this fine cement sand won't, it, it won't ever stick to itself. It's always gonna crack like that. And once you seal over it, it's not a problem. And I think it adds a kind of an old worn look to it, which I think is neat. <laughs> hardwood, all hardwood shelving and drawers in the kitchen, the pantries, and then a built-in cutting board, which again was just slats from some leftover roofing material that we had. Breaker box in the kitchen for any emergency shutoff valves or any of the pumps. Um, big Frankenstein switch because the house is, is wired up for a generator. Since everything's on, since your water's on a pressure pump, you're going to want to have a generator in case power goes out, which is, you know, typical. Big screen doors coming into the master bedroom. The master bedroom, nice, big, and open. All, this, all the ceilings are all done with varnished plywood, which is a nice, inexpensive way to seal off, to seal off your roof and then trimmed out with leftover hardwood pieces and scrap bamboo that we use from the jungle from all, of, all the corners here too. Just regular fan and install 220 AC. And the house is small enough, wired up enough, that your generator will run the, the AC and the 220. We did a sweet feature wall, because the house itself is red brick. Um, so we had the guys weave a featured wall, kind of repaint over, with red brick to really give it that red brick look rather than having it just the rustic cement everywhere and then finish it off and seal it. I think it kind of gives a, a nice, again, that warm feeling with the wood and warmth next to the concrete, I think is pretty cool. Big back door. Out back to your hammock haven in the jungle. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Ben with Barefoot Builders. NikaBuilders.com